New at five, it is World Doula Week, and a group is working to promote that practice in Milwaukee's African American community. Sarah McGrew is here to tell us how its doula program is helping save lives. Sarah. Yeah, according to the Centers for Disease Control in Wisconsin, black babies are nearly three times more likely to die than white babies. The We Rise Community Doula Initiative is working to be a part of the solution. Ratona Wilson calls her first two birth experiences traumatic. The way I wanted to birth wasn't working for them. She says she felt her concerns and preferences weren't heard by her doctors. An experience the African American Breastfeeding Network says many black women have. I felt bullied, so I was like, maybe I should listen to what He's saying because he is a midwife. He knows better than I do. Both times she was told she needed a C-section. And it was a very traumatic C-section because I feel like it was medically unnecessary. But in my case, I feel like it wasn't. It was just the doctor was tired. <laughs> you know, and she was like, well, we're just gonna we're just gonna cut him out. Now she's expecting baby number three and wanted to take control of her birth experience. She connected to a doula through the African American Breastfeeding Network's We Rise Community Doula program. It's different because I feel like I actually have a voice this time. Um, I let her know what I need, you know, what I want. The state funded program started in 2020. It provides doulas to clients free of charge. These doulas are non-medical health professionals who provide support and advocacy throughout pregnancy. We want to make sure that you're preparing for birth and then also for postpartum and lactation. Rosalind Perkins is Ratona's doula. She advocates for the birth Ratona wants. To understanding that this birth is different. You know, so you get to reclaim, as I said before, you get to reclaim the birth space. According to the National Institute of Health, doula assisted mothers are less likely to have a baby with a low birth weight and less likely to experience birth complication involving themselves or their baby. Doulas and birth workers make a difference. We didn't lose any black women last year. We're not going to lose any black women this year. Well, very impressive. Now, Sarah, can you, do you have any statistics on this program or how many ladies have been helped? Yeah, Carol, in the first year, this program helped um, support 90 births, and of those, just five of those babies spent time in the NICU, and leaders say that 95% of the babies also were born at full term, which is great, and they're hoping to expand and help support 120 births this year. Excellent, because we have had a problem with infant mortality in this city. Yes. Thank you very much, Sarah, for that report.